See, in the economic survey, current account deficit have been given high importance and also current account def uh, deficit is a very important indicator, macroeconomic indicator and you can expect a question on current account deficit, okay. So, already UPSC have asked a question on fiscal deficit, the trend of fiscal deficit. See, when I say trend means what, how are the deficit have moved in the last five years, whether it is increasing or whether it is decreasing, okay. If you look into the figure of current account deficit from the economic survey of 1920, this is the, uh, uh, this, this table I have taken from the economic survey 1920, you already know, but just see that from 2011 to 12 to 1819 and the first half of 1920 is mentioned in this table and if you look into the trend okay so in 11 12 current account deficit was of india was 4.3 percentage 12 13 4.8 13 14 1.7 you can see it 1.3 1.1 1 .1, 0.6 and 17 18 1.8 what happened in 1819? In 1819, it has touched 2.1. So, if you see, we already know, I already discussed 11, 12 and 12, 13 have some problems. What is that impact of global financial crisis as well as Eurozone crisis, okay. Even though the global financial crisis happened in 7, 8 and 8, 9, we had an impact, okay. So, that it continued, that impact continued on India. And in 11 12, it got worsened because of Eurozone crisis. Okay. So, 11 12 and 12 13 was something abnormal in the global economy, and that was reflected here in India also. But from 13 14 onwards, okay, we were our current account deficit was in a safe zone. So, what is the safe zone for current account deficit? Economic survey is telling you through this diagram. See, have you seen this uh, blue color? What is this? Two percentage. So, 2 percentage of GDP, if the current account deficit is less than 2 percentage of GDP, we, it's, there is nothing worry, there is nothing to worry. But, if the current account deficit is above 2 percentage, we can say that, okay, current account deficit below 2 percentage or up to 2 percentage is safe for India, but above 2 percentage, it is showing that, okay, we need to be a bit careful, okay. So, here, what happened in 1819? 1819, 1819, current account deficit crossed the 2% safe zone. So, because of that, there can be a question. So, what one pattern of is that UPC will say that, okay, current account deficit in the last 5 years have steadily increased or current account deficit in the last 5 years has steadily decreased. But if you see that 1.7 to 1.3, it is decreasing. It is decreasing, it is decreasing, but in 1718, it has increased. So, there is no steady decrease, there is no steady increase. So, if a statement comes, both statements are wrong. Whether the UPC says that current account deficit have steadily increased or steadily decreased in the last 5 years or in the last decade or in, the, in this current decade means that statement is wrong. So, because already UPC asked a question and I told you, this is what I told you by trend. Okay, whether there is a steady increase or steady decrease in the last five years or in the uh, this current decade, that is, you see that the, that one, uh, the ten, last ten year. Okay, so that you please careful about it. Okay, now again I told you economic survey, how is comparing the last ten year, okay, especially from 2009 to 14, what is the average current account deficit, okay. So, in 2009-14 period, maybe this can be a question, okay, because this is the statement mentioned in the economic survey. In 2009-14, current account deficit is 3.3 percent. So, during this period, 9 to 14 period, current account deficit was above the safe zone. So, it was a concern for us. But in the 14-19 period, even though in the 14-19 period, only in 18-19 only, there was uh, above 2 percentage. So, it was below so, this was a safe zone. So, in 14-19 period, current account deficit is in the safe zone, but we are having reasons to worry. What is that? 18-19, it current account deficit went above 2 percentage, 2.1 percentage. Why it is negative? Negative means deficit. Okay. And uh, uh, in the first half, there are some relief for us, because in the first half, uh, 
uh, of 1920 says that current account deficit has come down again. So, 1920 current account deficit is showing a, it said okay there is nothing to worry and that is mainly because we have reasons to worry but this is because of our reduction in the trade deficit because of the slowdown in the economy we are, our import has come down even though our export have not improved and luckily our capital account is also uh, steady especially in relation to foreign direct investment in the year 1920 okay so that you keep in mind regarding current account deficit okay so they can ask you what is current account deficit i i don't think so there the chance of the concept being asked is very less because current account deficit is nothing but what we receive in the current account in in the form of foreign currency and what we mean inflow and outflow okay but the trend you expect the question based on trend uh, that is what happened in relation to current account deficit okay now economic survey also is mentioning about this statement okay what economic service says that for the current account deficit whenever the economy is having current account deficit means from the current account of balance of payment there is outflow because it is deficit so for two there is how india or every country uh, meet the deficit so that is back up to current account deficit is met from the foreign exchange reserves and we already dis uh, discussed we are having a safe forex reserve and as of now uh, the latest data says that it is near above 480 billion so forex reserves is the backup to meet or to address means to meet the current account deficit with increase in so it's also says that okay whenever there is an increase in current account deficit to forex ratio so this figure talks about current account deficit to a uh, forex ratio current account deficit to forex ratio okay so current account deficit to so this is another figure which we talk about and we and it is also linking with the nominal exchange rate i'll come to it okay what is this nominal exchange rate and the statement is also very important this and uh, this in this ppt a very important concept we are going to discuss so first point to note down is very simple that we already know that current account deficit is managed by the or the that it, that deficit is met by our forex reserve and it says that whenever there is an increase in the current account deficit this blue color okay whenever there is an increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio okay this blue color is current account deficit by forex ratio whenever there is an increase what will happen it reflects the decreasing strength of the backup what is the backup forex reserve so whenever the current account deficit increases what will happen forex reserve will decrease this is what economic survey says okay and this is the most key thing i want to discuss okay this will decrease this decreasing strength of our backup will impact the value of indian rupee it will depreciate indian rupee so Indian currency will depreciate over the foreign currency here in our case it is dollar because since our balance of payment is denominated in dollar so this is a very 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 important point to note down whenever there is decrease in the current account deficit to forex ratio so whenever sorry whenever there is an increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio it has an impact over the value of our currency that is indian rupee what will happen it will depreciate and this economic survey is saying that in the period that is in 2013-14 okay in 2013-14 in 2013-14 the current account deficit to forex ratio is 10.6 it increased to 13.9 percentage it increased to 13.9 percentage in 2018-19 so there have been in this time you see it even though the gap is it decreased it decreased it decreased and 17-18 it increased and in 18-19 it increased okay so economic survey is just saying that over a period of time after a decrease it has increased that is in 17-18 and 18-19 in 17 18 and 18 19 something happened with indian rupee okay indian rupee have depreciated and this depreciation according to survey one of the reason for this depreciation is there have been an increase 
in the current account deficit to forex ratio and that increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio have resulted in Indian rupee depreciating see in 2013-14 in 2013-14 Indian rupee value was for one dollar one dollar Indian rupees value was 60.50 rupees and when the current uh, current account deficit to forex ratio increased to 13.9 percentage in 2019-18-19 the value of Indian rupee depreciated to 69.92 dollar this is mentioned in the economic survey so what I want to what is important for you the fact is not important what is important is one simple point that if there is increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio it will result in depreciation of our currency okay and that has happened in the period of 1718 and 1819. So, this one point you please note down. So, UPC can trick you. How UPC will trap you? UPC will say that whenever there is increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio, it will result in increase or it will result in appreciation of the currency instead of. So, instead of saying that depreciation of currency it will say appreciation currency will appreciate so that statement is wrong when there is increase in the current account deficit to forex ratio it will result in depreciation of indian rupee so this point only you note down and be very careful when a question comes you address it accordingly